woman the heckler put down her, the man with the freckles who puts down the heckles. You, sir, heckle me. Have a day off. Get in there before the heckle. They can never win. <laughs> then you just shoot him down. <laughs> Who is this guy? Let me tell you a little story that kind of sums me up. So I was on my way home from uh, Les Pub, <laughs> AKA home from home. <laughs> I like a drink. It's become a little bit of a problem. Uh, not really. But, um, but I'm on the way home and I see this house and out of the, out of the windows come in these crazy flashing colors. I'm talking your reds, your yellows, your greens, your Zinfandels, your greys. They're all coming at me. DMB thumping out the door. Uh, that's drum and bass for any cats over 40. Um, and I've, I've, I've said, you know, hey, dog, you're going to have a bit of that, aren't you? So I've strolled straight in there. I've walked straight up to a girl. Of course I have. Um, no, no, it's serious. I've gone, um, hey, I've just walked into a party I'm not invited to. Well, that's what I'm about. What are you about? And she's replied with, uh, I'm all about ringing the police. Which is, uh, no, good line, good honor. I said, hey, I'm the stand-up comedian. She said, I don't know you. And then she went her way, I went mine. Mutual. Um, ukulele. So I'm in the corner, and I'm bobbing along to the DMV. And I notice that she's gone over uh, to a group of friends, and she's pointing at me. And I know what she's saying. Who's that prince of darkness? Who's that lone ranger of the night? <laughs> and she's walking over and I think, here we go, round two. And she said, yeah, you're gonna have to leave. No, nah, yeah. <laughs> Intimidated by my presence. Happens a lot. I was gonna leave anyway, they just had um, walkers out and I at least need Monster Munch. I'm that kind of guy, 24 seven adrenaline. Apart from when I'm sleeping, obviously. <laughs> Uh, a little bit more about me, sure. Um, so, um, a student, obviously. Uh, charity worker, philanthropist, up to my kind of hip region in philanthropy. Um, oh, don't know if you've noticed, bloody professional darts player. Is there anything he can't do? <laughs> oh, he can dance as well. I've heard when he goes swimming, he does the butterfly. He does. <laughs> I've heard when he plays tennis, he has a one-handed backhand. Yeah! Low to high. <laughs> Is there anything more beautiful than a one-handed backhand, sir? What about the face of a newborn child? Or a... So you didn't think the question through, did you? You've got to engage in the material. And that's... He's tried to shit me up. I know what he's done. <laughs> no, yeah, there's a competition. Mate. Yeah, be friendly. <sighs> Let's get back to them, don't worry, relax. Hey, H-Dog, H-Lemon Drizzle Cake. Yeah, what is it? Uh, do you mind if you reverse in the set a little bit? Yeah, sure, mate, set reversing. What do you want to know? Um, you know how you said you were a professional darts player? <laughs> yeah. Does that mean you have a professional darts nickname? <laughs> of course it bloody does. Chamon, I don't know if you can, can you see that? That says Harrison the Ghost Charles, and that's a nickname I got off my dad. My mum used to call him that because he was never around. <laughs> it's a real joke, that. It's the only one in the set, so it's a shame you didn't give it a bit more. No, don't worry. <laughs> no, you, you'll kick yourself later, and that's the beauty of that. That'll come back up, so bear, bear with that one. Um, but was, I was at the World Darts Championship, yeah? Alexandra Palace, there I am. A beautiful place to play darts. I've gone through all the qualifying, lovely paintings around, kind of visceral reds and Ladbrokes written on incredible paintings. Um, and I don't know if you know, but darts players, we have walk-ons, and you get to choose a walk-on song. And mine is obviously, we are the cheeky girls. <laughs> and I do a little dance when I get on stage. I do a little Jimmy Two Shuffle. Uh, I get the cheerleaders up, you know, we go, we are the cheeky girls, you are the cheeky, we, and then I get a nipple out. I'm an entertainer, it's what I do, cuff me. <laughs> But this year I was going to be, I was going to be a little bit controversial. Um, 
Uh, I was going to be the first uh, darts player to walk on without a walk-on girl, because I think it's sexist and I think it's wrong. And as I get down from this rather large horse, <laughs> I'll just explain to you what happened. I was backstage at the wings. I was nervous, obviously. i um, been suffering from dartitis, which is when you don't... It's not nice. Um, I get a little whisper in the ear. The ghost, I love your mullet. Have you seen that? I, oh, that joke doesn't work sometimes because people just see the front, but there is party at the back. <laughs> I love your mullet. I turn round. It's Chantel, the most formidable of the walk-on girls. <laughs> Our eyes lock. I say thanks. I just um, ask the hairdresser for a little bit of the back to play with. Uh, it's not for everyone, that one. Um, <laughs> And, and then she comes out with what was a thought. I don't think she meant to say it, but it came out. Um, I want to swim in your deep blue eyes. And quick as a flash, I've come back. I've said, there's no lifeguard guarding these waters, babe. Dive away. <laughs> and I've walked in with her. And I feel guilty. Sure, I do. Um, <sighs> but that's just what happens, isn't it? I mean, I guess it's a bit like enjoying the smell of your own farts. You know you shouldn't be doing it. But there you are, wafting. <laughs> Don't know why I'm doing it that aggressively. <laughs> Looks like something else, doesn't it? <laughs> Not conventionally. <laughs> Same result, though. <laughs> I haven't tried it. Let's get off this topic. <laughs> Come on, it's being filmed. Um, I, lost, I lost that first round. Uh, tripped up on the hockey while I was doing the dance. Uh, made it look like a vaudeville gag. I'm a professional. Um, but I was in a world of pain. Um, Anyway, let's end on a high note. Um, notepad, notepad, notepad. Let's take a swim in your notepad. Ooh, dip your toe in, it's cold. No, honestly, it's fine once you get in. Thought of this song an hour ago, probably shouldn't have put it in. Um, ah, it's my fault. Um, Never blame the audience. Uh, okay, I've got to be quick. Um, here's one. Uh, imagine a giraffe with the legs of a sausage dog. Come on! How have I come up with that? <laughs> Who is he? <laughs> <laughs> Looks a bit like a goose step, that bit. Probably not best to do it in the current climate. Uh, you idiot, Harrison. No, don't worry. Uh, here we go, here we go. Um, television programme, this. Is Claire Balding? And that's where Claire Balding interviews women called Claire who are suffering from alopecia. Oh, there's the pathos, but there's also the fun wordplay. And last one, because I really must go. Uh, it's late. Um, this one is a YouTube channel. It's called Walsh Your Mouth Out, Son. Walsh Your Mouth Out, Son. And that's where Bradley Walsh and Louis Walsh review mouthwash. <laughs> Thank you very much. You've been lovely. I've been Harrison the Ghost Charles. Bye-bye. <laughs>